Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we'll discuss some ESP32 project ideas. So let's get started. Omnidirectional bots have the freedom to move in any direction, as their wheels have additional rollers beneath them. If we look at this project design, the wheels are spaced at an angle of 120 degrees, where a PCB at the center houses all the electronics. A camera at the front streams an FPV video to the app. The robot can be controlled either via a web server that contains a slider and a joystick, or using the Pico Click, which moves the robot based on its orientation. Both modes have their own advantages. This is a handheld computer made by Peter. It contains a 2.8 inches OLED display and a QWERTY keyboard. With this, you can send messages, do some coding, play some games, and much more. This project is assembled using PCBs, which gives you the option to connect different types of displays and microcontroller boards on it. It also removes the hassle of connecting components. It can be powered in two ways, using a USB cable or a rechargeable battery pack. But don't try to power it using both sources at a time as it might damage the board. In this project, Volo shows how he made a controller for an electric vehicle. It shows the speed, gears RPM, and even the slightest details that you can see on a normal dashboard. He decided not to use any fancy images or fonts to make this. Instead, he relied on simple lines and shapes. Due to this, the output on the display looks fabulous. In his project PCB, there's a variety of switches and buttons to control different things in the vehicle. Overall, it's a great setup to simulate a car dashboard, but with certain additions like a VR headset, it could become amazing. If you're planning to build a robot with a real-time operating system and Wi-Fi connectivity, then this is the project you need. Shubham always tries to keep his projects as compact as possible, so he assembled the circuit on a double side perf board. By adding an OLED display, a cooling fan, and some 3D printed parts, he assembled the bot in these dimensions. The RTOs allows you to play some cool animations on the OLED and move the robot simultaneously. All these things are taken care of by a 7 volt LiPo battery that gives the bot a good runtime. This is a Galdiano, a handheld device that can perform mathematical operations like integration, differentiation, and plot functions. The heart of the device is an ESP32, which sits on a custom PCB that also holds an array of push buttons and a tiny touch sensitive color display. It can be powered through a lithium polymer battery or, like a classic calculator, through four AAA cells. The entire thing is housed in a 3D printed enclosure with color coded buttons indicating various built in functions. Altium is a PCB design software that's both powerful and easy to use. With its intuitive interface and comprehensive set of features, Altium Designer makes it easy to create high quality PCB designs. And with all new Altium 365, now you can share your PCB designs with anyone from anywhere with a single click. With Octopart, you can get real-time component insights as you design your PCB in Altium. Check the description for more details. If you want to build a universal remote to control any appliance, then this project might interest you. With a 2.8 inches capacitive touchscreen, this remote provides an intuitive and snappy user interface for switching devices and settings. You don't need any hub or docking station, as the remote features infrared, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth connectivity. And with its well-optimized power consumption, this remote can run for months on a charge. It also contains 24 tactile switches arranged in a 5x5 grid. The best part is that the design files are open source. You can fully customize them to your devices and needs. You might have used an oscilloscope before, but have you tried to make one on your own? Though it might not be able to generate a waveform, it can display them easily. 
you just need a tiny TFT display, push buttons, a USB power port, and an ESP32 if you want to make one. Now, you might be thinking, will it work? So, when an input signal is applied to this oscilloscope, you could see the waveform as well as the various setting options that a regular oscilloscope would give. It even displays all types of waveforms without any latency or other issues. If you're bored with checking the numerical sensor data, then you can take some help from this project, because this will teach you to get graphical and visual data on a display. If we see the code, four sprites are used for different modules that are visible on the breadboard. On the left, an ambient light sensor is installed whose values are shown in a gauge, while on the right, a microphone is connected, whose data can be seen in the form of a graph. A simple slider is also added to show the LED status. What other additions do you think we can add to this project? Our next project is a simple audio spectrum analyzer. To make this, you don't need a display or LEDs. Just access the analyzer with a computer, tablet, or phone. All you need is a Wi-Fi access point. To give a better performance, it utilizes both cores of the controller. Core 1 is used to run the main loop of the program, while Core 0 is used to constantly update the web data. Once everything's up and running, you could press the mode button to change the number of channels. 8, 16, 24, 32, and even 64 channels are available. If you want to make your own AI camera, then make sure to try this project. Eric placed an ESP32 cam inside a cardboard box a push button to capture the image, and a screen to view the captured image. But how does it tell the object details? So, first the ESP32 cam captures the image and uploads it to the Node.js server. It then calls the Google Vision API to get an image annotation. Once the object's identified, the image is returned to the ESP32 cam via the same process. And with that, you can get the details of any object that you want. You might have seen various rain gauges, but this one's a bit different. It not only detects the rain, but also tells you how heavy the rainfall is. It contains a magnet at the top part of the tipping bucket. Inside this tightly sealed container, it has a PCB with a hall sensor. When the bucket swings, the magnetic field changes and a notification sent to the microcontroller. The microcontroller measures how much time has passed since the last tick converts it into appropriate units, and sends that info to the Home Assistant. If you want to create a voice automation system to control various objects, then check this project. Brian is 30%. It uses an ESP32 S3 microcontroller and a microphone to create a system that can recognize wake-up words like Hey Siri and OK Google to execute specific actions associated with those commands. Set the brew. The microphone captures the audio input, and using the speech command recognition model, the commands are identified and predefined actions are taken. Using this model, you can easily add your own speech commands, eliminating the need to train the model again. Using this project, you'll be able to detect hands and fingers using Python and implement it to use as a gesture-controlled virtual mouse. In this demo code using a webcam, we can see how image recognition is working. Using your index finger, the cursor can be moved in any direction. To click on any particular location, the middle fingers move downwards while keeping the index finger upwards. To use it using an ESP32 cam, you'll only need to modify the dimensions and frame rates in the code. All other things will remain the same. Lewis had some old empty filament spools lying around, so he decided to make a DIY lamp using them. It's just not any ordinary lamp. It's equipped with some cool features. This lamp can be controlled from any device via Wi-Fi using a WLED web interface or several free apps. Or you could use the discrete dimmer control on the top to adjust the brightness. It's also got a couple of display patterns. Pressing a hidden button once on the underside lets you change between your preferred lighting patterns. Whilst holding that button a bit longer switches over to sound-sensitive party performance mode. 
Alex made this portable video player that allows him to watch his favorite shows from anywhere without the need for the internet. He planned to include three configurations in this player, including video only, video and audio, and one that adds a large battery to the back for ultimate portability. To display the videos, he opted to use the Motion JPEG codec. Though it reduces a little bit of video quality and increases the file size, it makes the decoding process easier. Are you looking for a surveillance project at a very low price? then under $10, you can make a surveillance camera using an ESP32 cam and a 3D printed frame. The camera itself detects the movement and does not require a PIR sensor. As the motion's detected, it notifies you with a message on the Telegram application. And if you have an internet connection, you could view the images and short footage of the intruder from anywhere and take necessary actions. With this project, your premises are secured, and that too on a limited budget. So, these were some of the best ESP32 project ideas that you can try. Drop a like and subscribe to our channel to keep supporting us. We'll be back with some great project ideas soon. Till then, goodbye!